In today's Urbandum video, we enter a towering 15-storey grain factory located on the docks of eastern Scotland. Within the massive concrete structure, the power runs throughout, lighting up many different types of machinery that have remained since the warehouse closed almost two decades ago. Join us as we wander through the site to see what is left. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. In our previous upload, we asked our viewers do they prefer us exploring buildings with grand design but few points of interest, or buildings with rooms and rooms to see. We had many responses, but we felt that this comment from our friend KP Urban summed it up very well. It is a tricky one to answer because both forms of explore have their positives and negatives, such as a shorter video in a theatre or cinema, but chance of repetitiveness in a hospital or factory. Today's question is, should we explore and showcase industrial places that are huge but empty, such as those with no machinery but dated design? Be sure to comment your opinion to possibly be featured in our next video. As the sun steadily rose on the horizon of the Scottish Sea, we were already looking out over our surroundings from the grain facility's roof. The colossal building we will be sharing today is positioned in land that becomes quite busy in full daylight, so we decided to enter in the darkness to avoid detection. After an hour of waiting patiently for enough light, we began our exploration. Power's still on. All the way up here. It's kind of strange. Such a nice sunrise this morning. Some huge hoppers in here. Industrial rows of machinery are so cool. As we started working our way through the building at a middle level, we first headed upwards, planning to see the lower floors last. The spiral staircase going up at least three floors. Really cool old architecture that you wouldn't see in any modern replications of industry today. This bit already looks really cool from the wood. machine. Wow. It's so dusty. There's a motor right there, so I believe the machine would have moved along the metal. This place might not even appear dated until you see Stuff like this. And some of the machines as well. Oh my God. So cool. I love the contrast of the 
concrete structure, the wooden panels, and then the metal machines. It's like the main three materials used. At the time of construction in the mid-1930s, the Grain Warehouse was a monumental building and is a unique rarity in the world. It works in a vertical process where the grain product would enter the structure along a massive conveyor belt that has recently been demolished. Then it would move downwards past purpose-built machines through a large portion of the warehouse that would be silo only and into the bottom of the site where it would be exported. It's smart that on these machines they had a little space of chalk on it so the workers could do the calculations of what they'd need. These machines are quite open, which is cool because you can see all the inner workings. Getting almost to the top floor now. Hopefully you can hear me over the 100 pigeons in here, but Obviously the process starts at the top and makes its way down. I just like the way on each floor there's something totally different and new to look at machine wise. It's not getting samey at all. It was quite remarkable that the power functioned all the way up here, as the facility was last used in the early 2000s. There was something very atmospheric about the hanging lights glowing onto the blue machines and the grey walls. Wow. These are motors. They're all different shapes. What is there for? Yeah. Another cool room. I really hope the power works in this one too. The concrete used has kept the building watertight, meaning it lacks signs of deterioration. Pigeon droppings and dust are the only clarity that the industrial property is actually abandoned. Once we had discovered the interesting motor hall on the highest level, we began to go down the ornate spiral staircase to see what else we could find. a huge space. Oh my god. This is where all the conveyors would meet the property so the process could begin. There's like six, five, six rows. And this stretches the entire span of the structure. grids which go up in number is around 350 just on this side so there must be probably a thousand I would collect the grain as this machine moved along the conveyor and kind of pulled it down there you can see it lifts up the um, actual trolley and the grains would fall down inside there. I think I was right. This says valve direction for delivery bins. But I wasn't right to saying there was a thousand as it goes lower this side so there's about 400 in here. 
from what we can work out, the trolley would collect grain into each of the 400 holes that would store it in the silo beneath. Potentially the numbers could relate to different orders of grain from companies that would want their product kept separate. These are actual grains. So much. Although in the grand scheme of things there's probably nothing compared to how many this building used to store. I think there used to be a conveyor that would come onto the building, but it was demolished a few years ago. Probably just so they could use up the space it was taken. And you'd think that it would enter the building at some point around here. But I can't really see any signs of it. There looks to be a control booth there. Definitely want to check that out. Some documents over there I need to look at. I wonder when these smashes were done, as the building is quite well protected. This is a daily grain intake sheet. And the only questions really are, is the bin filled to completion? And they just put yeah or no. Quite easy procedures to follow. This dates back to 2002 though. Yeah. Must have been down at least three floors now. There's still no room. Must have taken it past the silo portion where it would have just been grain and nothing else. This looks like something. Front delivery floor. Yeah. Loud phones. What does that mean? This floor boasted a long row of shutters, so we assume it was where the grain left the facility to be delivered elsewhere. Worker drawn graffiti was scratched on the metal, showcasing a boxing fight which could date back a long time. This is a very old telephone booth. Again, with an old dial phone. I can practically see the dust floating through the air from my torch. It's a long hallway. With little to see on the ground floor and the site getting busier every second, it was time for us to exit the incredible remnant of old. Developers are requesting that the historic warehouse is pulled down in order to replace it with a new modern version and a marine base, but with it being listed as an industrial relic, it is likely that nothing will go ahead as of yet. The building will sit fenced off in the middle of a dock for years to come, but not many will get the chance to see its interior that is frozen in time.
We hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this exploration. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to never miss a future upload. Here are some of our photographs taken at the grain warehouse. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page in the description where we post images of our explorers months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching our video. Also, we appreciate all the support from our Scottish viewers. We have many more places to share from your country, as well as equal amounts from England too. See you next time.